number 19, 3x squared plus 4x plus 1, x is negative b, which will be negative 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 16, minus 4, times a, which is 3, times c, which is 1, all over 2a, which is 2 times 3. So that will be negative 4, plus or minus the square root of what we have up here, is 16 minus 12. 16 minus 12 is 4, so we have the square root of 4 over 6. Negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 over 6. And the square root of 4, of course, we recognize as 2. So this is negative 4 plus or minus 2 divided by 6. And we can work each of those answers out into a number. This is negative 4 plus 2 over 6 and negative 4 minus 2 over 6. Well negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 and negative 2 over 6 is negative 1 third. So I get negative 1 third as one of my answers. And then with the minus sign right here, negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6 divided by 6 is negative 1. So two answers. They both end up being real numbers and rational numbers in this case. One, negative one-third and negative one. And number 20. A is equal to 3, B is equal to negative 2, and C is equal to negative 2. So X will be negative B, which is a positive 2, plus or minus the square root of B squared. B is negative 2, so B squared is 4. So it's b squared minus 4 times a times c. And all that is over 2a, which is 2 times 3. So let's simplify this. This will be 2 plus or minus the square root. Now what do we have up top here? We have 4 times 3 is 12. And 12 times negative 2 is negative 24. So we have 4 minus negative 24, which is the same as 4 plus 24. So 4 plus 24 is 28. That's what's under our radical, the square root of 28 over 6. And we can simplify the square root of 28. Uh, 28 is 4 times 7. So the square root of 28 can be written as 2 times the square root of 7. So this is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 7 over, over 6. And we can simplify that by dividing the top and the bottom by 2. And we end up with 1 plus or minus the square root of 7 over 3 for our final answers.